So welcome to Marmot Basin. Today we're gonna to look at Trey Sombres. trying to do with this terrain is appeal to more advanced skiers. This is considered just a really nice bowl behind me and it's got a bunch of chutes to enter in off of. So if you're looking for something that has a little more rocks, you kind of come down that section there. And if you're uh, looking for kind of wide open bowl, just a steeper terrain with less bumps, heading far skiers left gets you that kind of terrain. And just dropping in off of the small little cornice that's developed there. This side of the mountain actually gets wind loaded quite a bit so it's on the uh, east side of the mountain and you get those westerly winds blowing hard over top today is actually a crazy windy day but you wouldn't know it from where I'm sitting now because I'm in front of this giant bull but what that wind does it actually wind loads this whole side so Marmot hasn't had a lot of snow lately but since you have that wind loading uh, the biggest surprise I had is actually the grip and the amount of snow on this face, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, it's crazy. As that wind blows over, it blows a lot of snow and that snow just seeps itself into every little crevice, which makes it so nice to ski on. So it fills in a little of the bumps, so when you're riding between them, it's just nice and uh, firm snow that you can really get an edge on and just keep flying. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I uh, actually expected icy conditions today and it turned out to be just bangers. So today's uh, video is just going to be about kind of explaining this zone because it's it's new and I absolutely love it coming from a guy that always thought of this place as a family slash big group of friends ski area. This now feels to me as a advanced expert skier and yeah I just can't wait for it. So let's show you some footage and you can see exactly what this place is like all right. So that gives you kind of an idea of what this place skis like on a day when it's not blow or pow. Like we haven't had a lot of fresh snow here, but the conditions are just fantastic. My best advice for most people is to come with a friend if you're a confident uh, black run skier or someone that's been here before. It's just, it's nice to get that little tour. Um, the traverse on the way out is kind of sneaky and tricky to find. Uh, but once you know it, it it's, it's quite easy and you get very confident very quickly. Uh, if you just want to drop in, there's a couple of exits or entrances just along the ridge on uh, the skier's right of the bowl here. And you can drop in kind of anywhere. Most of the entrances aren't too crazy, but like I said, uh, just start with what you're comfortable with. If it doesn't look comfortable, you can always uh, drop in further down or go back to the uh, Under the Paradise chair. 
Um, you can also get this to this area with the uh, express chair, the one that goes right from the bottom, the quad that goes right from the bottom of uh, Marmot all the way to the top. And then you just gotta hike up to the top of Paradise Chair and then see the signs and hike up to, uh, to Tres Hombres. And once you get here, like I said, yeah, big bowl. You can drop in anywhere, but keep an eye out for the rocks. Uh, there is like a little cliff line here and yeah, otherwise it's pretty wide open, pretty well filled in. Uh, once you get to the bottom here, you're gonna be uh, seeing a whole bunch of little trees. Um, and then there's gonna be actually a traverse that'll take you out through there. The traverse is tighter than I thought it would be, but since it's in Jasper, they don't like a lot of the trees being cut down. So even as I was running through there, there was a trail crew that was actually packing it in and making it a lot nicer. So I expect that to improve as this Tres Hombres actually gets like a little more popular. Once you take that traverse out, you're actually gonna pop out right at the base of a paradise chair. This is the, uh, this is Tres Hombres. And it's Marmot's new area and I have to thank uh, Marmot Basin for inviting me out here. Paul, my instructor, for actually uh, guiding me through this, which was the most helpful thing I could have had today. Having a guide actually walk you through all the different runs on Trace Hombres, walk me through how that traverse works, and even finding a little sender, a little step up right before the chair that I had a lot of fun on. I want to thank Backside Tours as well for, uh, for helping me get out here. See you later.